okay temperature is a measure of how fast the particles are moving this is a gas the particles are moving quite quickly so it's got lots of high kinetic energy on average and so it's got high temperature then in liquids is moving more slowly so lower kinetic energy on average so lower temperature and then in solids even lower temperature because the particles are only vibrating so lower kinetic energy there as well and then finally if you cool it down to a point where the particles are barely vibrating that's going to be the very low temperature okay so temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles okay. but substances have two types of energy first they have kinetic energy due to the motion of the particles but they also have potential energy now this is due to the force of attraction between the particles and the further apart the particles are the higher the potential energy so substances have two types of energy in kinetic energy and potential energy when you put them together you get what we call internal energy of the object so internal energy is the sum of the random distribution of kinetic energy and potential energy of all the particles that make up that substance so there's two ways of well, there's three ways in which you can increase uh, the internal energy of a, of a substance so you can heat it up or maybe you can apply a current through it or you can compress it so by pushing on the, the, the piston pushing on the gas it's increasing the internal energy of the gas okay this diagram shows what happens to temperature as you heat up a solid and so the internal energy is continuously increasing as we go towards the right and as you can see at the beginning we start off at roughly minus 15 so that's a very cold ice and you heat it up so as the internal energy increases the temperature increases so during this stage it's the kinetic energy of the particles that is increasing that's because the particles are vibrating more then you reach the boiling point sorry the melting point and at the melting point the internal energy is increasing but the particles the temperature hasn't increased so the particles still have the same kinetic energy so that's because all the energy that you're supplying is used to separate the particles so it's the potential energy that increases during this stage the kinetic energy is constant that's why the temperature is constant during that stage and then once it's melted into a liquid you carry on heating and now you can see once again the temperature is increasing that's because the kinetic energy of the particles is increasing they're moving faster so higher temperature until you get to the boiling point at which point once again the temperature is constant even though the internal energy is increasing that's because all the energy supply is used to separate the particles further apart increase the potential energy of the particles but without changing the kinetic energy so the temperature is constant at that stage and then once again you can carry on increasing the internal energy and the temperature so you can see those stages it's the kinetic energy that is increasing the temperature is rising and in the other stages where the, where the phase is changing is going from solid to liquid and liquid to gas it's the potential energy that's increasing and you have to deal with these uh, different parts separately